<laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Dustin Recommends. And this one's going to be a slight departure from what I normally do. You normally see me talking about obscure horror movies or just insane movies that have no reason to be good, but I found very entertaining and figured I'd share with you guys. This one's different. This is a brand new movie, not a horror movie, not really a thriller either. I honestly don't know what to classify this movie as, but I guarantee it has flown under the radar. It should have got a theatrical release, but considering the subject matter, I can understand why it was passed up and went straight to DVD. So, with no further ado, I give you, if I can pick it up here, Sexy Evil Genius. Now this movie right here, again, like I said, it defies genre. I guess it could be considered a thriller and part of a revenge movie as well, but it's more than that. If anything, I would say this was more of a dark comedy. I'll give you basic plot points because I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, yeah, this is highly recommended by me. So what it is, is this, uh, this, this woman invites three of her lovers to a bar, or ex-lovers, my bad, her first love from high school, a second fling with a female, and then the third uh, a guy that she met, they started a band invites them all to a bar to meet her new boyfriend and current fiance. And let's just say this movie lives up to the title Sexy Evil Genius in every way possible. This movie will have you either hating the main character to the end or in love, enthralled, exactly. In fact, the first part of the movie reminded me of every single manipulative relationship that I was ever in. You felt that, and you felt this guy's pain that she had manipulated and, you know, used and all that, and it's so reprehensible. But at the same time, it, it, it hits you and it becomes real, and it's, you know, I mean, many a times I was like, God, yeah, that happens! And the same thing with the other two as well, her other two exes. It's so real and just so there. And you don't know really what's going on. At first you think she's just freaking psycho. Then you're thinking maybe she's got something. And then you're like, no, she's a lunatic. And then, in the end, you're just like, wow, okay. Now, another reason why I've seen this movie is because I have a slight man crush on Seth Green. Hey, screw me. Screw you. Screw dumps. Mm. That didn't go right well. Man, I have a man crush on Seth Green, and then say screw me right there. Not what I meant. Did you get my gist of what I was talking about? I like girls. Ladies, single. Call me. Back to the plot point here. That's the only reason I actually picked this movie up. I seen he was in it, and I was like, oh, well, anything Seth Green is in is normally pretty good. And after watching the first 15 minutes of this movie, I was just enthralled. The acting is spot on. Um, the characters that they got in here are just freaking amazing. And so just real. You just, I know I've said that like twice, but you identify. You will identify with them and it becomes your story almost. You can almost superimpose yourself on one of these figures. I kid you not. And it plays out the end again is just there's about four different twists and you're just what? What? But Again, pick this up. It's in sale at Walmart right now. It's got a pretty generic looking cover, so I can understand where you would probably just pass this up and not even give it a second thought. Don't, by all means, pick this movie up. 
it is well worth the $15 price that they're selling it for. If I could have found a Blu-ray of this, I would have bought the Blu-ray again. Kid you not, it's that good. It is now on my top shelf with my Blu-rays. You know, the ones that I really love. Like Evil Dead and all that fun stuff. It's up there, I kid you not. This has got to be one of the best movies that I've seen this year and from what I've got going on and what movies are going to be coming out, this will probably be one of my favorite non-horror movies probably in a while. Yeah, it's that good. Would I steer you wrong? Forget about that other movie with the weird stuff because you might have not liked that, but you get my drift. So, Dustin recommends Sexy, Evil, Genius. Go pick this up. Rent it, buy it, support this movie because this is a good movie and it deserves cult following right now. It does. And it's good. It's not like one of those cheesy cult following movies that is so bad like Troll 2 that it's so bad it's good. This deserves regular viewing. It really does. Pick it up. If you enjoy it, tell your friends about it. Send them to me. Send them to this video. Make them watch this because I cannot say enough good things about this movie. On the enjoyment meter, this thing got a 10. 10. An actual enjoyment, not ironic enjoyment, or not, oh, this is so bad, it's good enjoyment. Pure, unadulterated enjoyment. Absolutely. So, there it is. Dustin recommends Sexy Evil Genius. Go pick it out. Alright, boys and girls, y'all take it easy. Be safe out there, and uh, for all my little doves out there, I'll be back in June. Prepare yourselves. See you later. See you. Totally screwed that up, but I'm not editing these things and I don't script them, so deal with it. See you guys later. <laughs>